can't do it without winning the another bond, election. The bond market's all over the world. Every investor is going to be making their own judgment that it went with the Moody's. And their and judgments are the Treasury bills are at 2.8% here. Right. I, I understand. And they, they're variable right now for a lot of reasons. But I, but to say that they're, that they're the rating agencies are going to do it in some sort of magical way, convince the world investors that there's something wrong with our, our market, if there isn't, I don't think it's realistic. I think they will only reflect the reality that the market, correctly or incorrectly, collectively, is going to be making. Chris, uh, uh, what do you make of this outreach? <laughs> well, you have uh, stolen my top line of jumping up and down here wanting to say this. What guy from the third lane over, not even a turn lane, just went left. Oh. I made it. Yeah. No paint. Yes. Rearranged. Yeah. Still doesn't matter. No.
know, for the GOP and for the Tea Party caucus to feel like they've been a down payment on some, you know, some kind of seriousness on the deficit. It, they're sort of in the same ballpark. It, it seems to me the real sticking point is that Obama won't tolerate having to go through this again, you know, a short-term increase with a, you know, a, a forced revisiting of all these issues and another potential debt ceiling showdown like this six months or eight months from now during the campaign year, and the fact that the, uh, the House GOP seems to want to insist on that. And I don't know who blinks in this scenario. Uh, I don't think Obama will give on this, and I'm not sure. Well, what, what do you think? But look, the, the, the spending cuts in, in the debate are